Here we have a 2017 Kia Sedona LX. It has a 3.3 liter V6 engine, automatic transmission that sends power to both the front wheels. For the interior, we have your power folding mirror controls in addition to your power windows and locks, all found below the driver's door handle. We have a tone of storage along the bottom, a speaker in the very middle. We do have a nice black over gray combination for the interior with cloth bucket seats up front, and the driver's seat is power operated by the switches on the side. Traditional turnkey ignition system found on the column. Starts up nice and easy. And you see we do have a combination of analog and digital displays in the gauge cluster. You are able to go through a variety of different displays on the top portion of the digital screen, as you can see. Over here, we have your gauge cluster illumination, trash control, and your gas cap release. Bluetooth and audio controls are found on this side of the steering wheel. Cruise control is found on the other, and then the dial in the middle is what I use to control the screen in the gauge cluster. When the vehicle is reversed, this is where you'll find your backup camera. We also have rear parking sensors on the vehicle, so that audible sound is the vehicle letting us know that we are getting too close to the curtain behind us. For the server itself, you get AM, FM, and XM radio. Uh, you have USB and auxiliary ports, Bluetooth connectivity, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto. Newer Kia system, so it is completely touchscreen. You'd use it just like you would your smartphone. Um, then a bunch of shortcuts along the side as well. All that fun stuff. Uh, below that, we do have your climate control, so you do have dual zone being front and rear. Uh, ice cold air conditioning, of course, and then you can control the rear from the front as well. Down here, we have a little storage tray with a USB and auxiliary port. Automatic gear select, nice straight line, slap shift off to the side if you prefer. We have heated front seats for both the front passengers, they are three stage each. Then we have your eco mode, as well as your rear parking sensor toggle. Two cup holders on the passenger side, a giant armrest in the middle, two cup holders towards the back. You are able to fold up the section here to access the deeper part of the storage down there. And then you are able to configure the sliding portion here back and forth. So say if you want to have this section open, making it easy to access from there, you can have it like that. But if you'd rather just have the tray in front, you can definitely do that as well. Up top, we do have the auto dimming rear view mirror with the three car garage door opener on the bottom. We have your rear seat mirror that comes down as such, makes it easy to keep track of what's going on in the back without completely turning around. So nice and safe that way. And lastly, we do have your dome light controls above that. This is a good one, it's 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 a good then lock into place once it's all the way there, and then just unlock it, pull the handle, and slide it back out. Gas cap on the front side, you have to take the same rear brake on this, and pull it over to the back. Rear parking sensors are all along the bottom of the front of the front, and then you guys can go down to the Alabama front side. Back up to the rear parking area, and just sort of pull the, sorry, press the button next to the back of the camera above the license plate. Open it up nice and tall. So you have a nice big storage area in the back. Um, the third row seating, uh, 60 40 split, as you can see. It does fold into the storage area down there, giving a nice flat storage loading floor there. The middle seat belt in the third row is suspended from the roof. Same with the second row there. So you can have that tucked out of the way if you have all the seats folded down. That way it's not getting caught or anything like that. When you're done, just grab the handle here, drop it down and you are all good to go. For the rear interior, you have tons of legroom and headroom in the back of the Sedona. Same as cloth upholstery in the rear to match the front. Child seat anchors are easily found all along the bottom of the second row here. Armrests fold down on either side as well. The second row is a 40-20-40 split, so you can have each seat fold down, rec uh, recline, or slide back and forth individually of one another. We also have storage nets on the back of both the front seats. Two cup holders in the middle little storage tray down there and then we do have a storage compartment that folds out at the very bottom you'll see when the door is closed we do have the handle there for opening and closing the sliding door in addition to your power windows we do have your rear climate control on the roof on the passenger side there and then the vents are all along the roof for everyone to enjoy to access the third row seating just pull the handle here folds up and out of the way maintaining its shape in a pretty consistent form there at the bottom here it does appear to be for the lower style anchors in the back. 
So like I mentioned, there are three seats in the third row. So two in the front, three in the middle, three in the back. And it's a eight-seater minivan. Uh, we have storage and cup holders on either side, right by the speakers, as you can see. And then the trial seat anchors back here are just as easy to find as they are in the second row. Then when you're done, you see it says lock, so you push it to unlock, and then you push the seat with your other hand, latches back into place nice and solid, flip that up, and you are all good to go. And that was the 2017 Kia Sedona LX. If you're interested in this incredibly spacious eight-seater versatile minivan, you can go to parkmonster.ca to fill up the form to book your test drive. In doing so, we'll get you a $25 Visa gift card for coming down. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you soon.